guide you are looking at the Bushcraft Kukuru 7 knife designed by a guy Nicholas from LVI Bushcraft and Survival. A guy with over 30 years outdoor experience designed this tool, took the design off to Tops and Tops made it. And let's talk a little bit about the knife itself. It's a quarter inch thick, you've got some jimping on the top there. My Carter scales with red liners. Full tan construction, 1095. Wouldn't expect anything less on a tool this size with a lanyard loop. The, the actual grind on it was actually razor sharp when it turned up and I'm to believe that tops hand grind to all their knives. Um, some bloke there hand grinds these and I've got to say I'll take my hat off to the guy because the edge was absolutely flawless. He did a great job on that. It must be a real... Uh, real good knife maker. It is powder coated, that powder coating is not coming off of this blade, it is under solid even after heavy use and heavy chopping and on a three day camp, um, splitting wood, firewood, things like that, there was no sign of wear. And you can see it's a little bit marked up, all you do is wash that off, dry it off, just re a little bit of oil on there will stop that. Sharpening this knife, I found a pull through sharpener to be the best option. However, I had stropped it and it's dropped exceptionally sharp. No problems with that. The micarta scales look fantastic and you've got the old divots on both sides for your bow drill fire if you want. Different positions on the grip, you can choke quite well right up the blade there for your fine feather sticks or you can really come down if you're doing some mental chopping with it or your normal grip if you just want to split some logs with it. The lanyard loop I don't bother with guys. It has got a lanyard loop on and for the average guy out there I would say make sure you put a lanyard on this thing because if you let go of it there's a lot of steel flying. Um, you have got this little bit if you can see up here which does stop your hand slipping up the blade because if you slip up this blade your hand will uh, not be in a good shape. All in all absolutely fantastic and I've got to say the quality of the workmanship from Tops since it is one of the first Tops knives that I've had the quality of the workmanship is quite mind blowing it's absolutely flawless by them guys. You do get the Tops whistle inside the sheath with it and the sheath itself is a ballistic nylon, works exceptionally well. The OD green just looks cool as hell and makes a huge change from a black sheath. I kind of love OD green and they got it right. It is molly compatible so you can put this on your, uh, on your molly compatible gear or attach it to the side of your pack if you want to. You've got the, lanyard, uh, the leg loops on there so you can tie it down to your leg. I didn't bother with that, I kind of like it just flapping around myself. You get this massive front pouch which kind of fills your head with all types of ideas, what could I fit in there. You could fit a survival tin in there if you wanted to, a ferrocean rod or whatever you want to put in there. You probably could make yourself a pretty damn good survival kit, so basically if you were going to go out and you're a bit hardcore um, and that way inclined you could probably just take the knife and the sheath and probably have a couple of nights out in the, in the woods with it and see how you got on. All in all fantastic. The sheath as well, I must say this, I took out the insert and I made it for a left handed carry. Uh, that was really easy to do which made a nice change. So you can kind of readapt the sheath for left or right hand carry which is quite important for some people but all in all a fantastic product. So guys, I will leave all the links in the description box. Please check out uh, Nicholas's YouTube channel um, from LVI Bushcraft and Survival. And also I'll leave the links to Top's YouTube channel. So guys, that's it from me. I'll see you on the next one.